What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new album from Megan The Stallion called Fever. Now Megan is a rapper who's coming out of Houston, Texas, and she's built quite a name for herself over the past couple of years, especially with that project she put out called Tina Snow. But I personally know her more for all those twerk and performance videos that pop up on social media. I never really did a deep dive into her music, so this was basically my first time sitting with a full project of hers. That said, I really didn't have too high of expectations because the little bit that I did hear going into this wasn't anything overly unique or original. And even after reviewing this, uh, I, I still am not on the hype train like so many people seem to be. There are certainly some good aspects here and I don't think this is a trash project, but I also felt like this was kind of generic and redundant throughout. The best part of it, just to get that out of the way to speak on the positives, is the 3 Six Mafia influences, because you're going to pick up on a lot of that as you listen to this album, man. You're going to hear it on a bunch of production from Juicy J, and even with some 3 Six samples. So, songs like Pimpin' and Weak Ass Bitch, for example, these are standouts because they do kind of have that 3 Six sound, as well as some of those samples that I mentioned. And this just continues that trend of borrowing from 3 Six Mafia, man. I feel like I say that in every couple of reviews, because these guys are being borrowed from all the damn time. Time. Whether it's beats, sampling their voices, flows, whatever you want to say it, it's just really cool to see how influential 3 Six Mafia has been because they're one of my favorite groups of all time. So I do appreciate that aspect about this album. Even the song Simon Says has this huge beat from Juicy J. You got him on here coming through with a filthy ass verse where he's rapping about baby wipes and making a girl soak his wet sheets. And Megan is on here basically giving you a twerk instructional, you know what I mean? She's taking the child's song slash game Simon Says and telling you what to do, you know, touch your knees, touch your toes, blah da 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 da, you know how that shit goes. So content wise, you really know what you're going to get with this one just by kind of looking at the aesthetic and what she's putting out there. You're getting a lot of that bad shit content. You know, stuff like sex talk, ass clapping, playing men, stacking paper. That really is the run of this album. There really isn't too much more to pick at. So if you wanted any sort of content or incredible bars, you're not really going to get that here. But I would say that she has a nice, strong mic cadence, as well as some pretty good flows. Like, if you want to just talk about rapping, like just the act of actually rapping, I think she has a lot of charisma. She's working some nice flows, as I said. So in that aspect, she does stand out a little bit. But all in all, just sonically and with this content, man, it feels like been there, done that. You know what I mean? I know I'm not the demographic, so my opinion only means so much, just like any review that I give, but I think she's aiming this obviously more at younger people, especially younger women who are just having fun and are going to be out there ass clapping. Like, I ain't going to be out there ass clapping and doing all the shit she's talking about, so you know, it's not aimed for me. But even if I take myself outside of that and just look at the sound and musically what's happening, I thought this was pretty standard with what uh, a lot of people are doing in the rap game now, whether you are male or female. And the thing with this album is I've seen so many people trying to make this a male slash female slash battle the sexes type of thing. But for me personally, generic content and generic sounds, I'm going to call it the same no matter who it is doing it. I'm not going to pick on a woman for doing this content or being overly sexual. That's certainly her right. And this shit goes on throughout hip hop, has gone on throughout hip hop forever, man, coming from men and women. So like, I'm not in that group of people who are like, how is she doing this? It's just blah, blah. But still, I do think that this is a pretty generic and redundant album. There's really not too much for me to break down here. You're even getting some of those flavorless sing-songy joints, those quintessential ones like Best You Ever Had and Big Drank. You know, these are just some watered-down, more pop-aim tracks, so I understand why she put them on there. But sonically, other than the 3 Six Mafia influence, there really wasn't too much to this that really had me excited jumping on the hype train and being overly interested. But I'm going to scroll down my notes here because there was one song uh, I thought was really dope. Where is it, man? Of course, man, I got my notes all messed up here. That's how I do. It's on the running up freestyle, man. I think this is actually one of the best songs on here because she is just raw as fuck. She got some funny lines like when she says, Got the moves like I'm Ryu, yellow diamonds Pikachu. When I switch my hair to blonde, I'm finna turn up like Goku. Again, I'm just reading this shit, so I'm butchering it. But I appreciate those nerdy references, so that was cool. And she says, I don't even chase liquor. Why would I chase a nigga? He say it should be nicer. Well, your dick should be bigger. So that was kind of funny. And this is the type of stuff that you are going to pick up on here. There's a little bit of uh, humorous wordplay and stuff like that. But as an MC, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gasping for air like, this shit is crazy, man. She's changing the game. It still does feel... Uh, quite generic to me. Even just by looking at the song titles, you know what you're in for, you know? Shake that, dance, ratchet, sex talk, cash shit, I don't know, man. It, it, 
I'm not on the hype train. It is what it is, though. It's all right. I would give it a 2.5 out of 5. I don't think it's all out trash, but I'm just calling it like I see it. And I'm sure people aren't going to like this review too much because she seems kind of like one of the chosen ones right now where everyone is really boosting her and appreciating what she's doing. And I'm not hating on her. Like, I can appreciate what she's doing. She even says on one song, on Reeler, she says, fuck all the critics and fuck how they feel. I'm getting money. It is what it is. And you know what? As a critic, like I, I can't even hate on that myself. I understand you got to do what you got to do to make your money. She has a big following. She's on the right path. She's going to do very well for herself. So what I think doesn't matter. But just me personally speaking on this musically, I'm I'm not as blown away as everyone else seems to be. Kind of redundant and generic. Getting redundant like me saying that, because I've said that a couple times already. So we're going to wrap it up, man. It is what it is. 2.5 out of 5. Cool in spots. I see the appeal. Not really blown away. But let me know in the comments section what you think. And of course, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.